Hey guys, what's going on? This is Michael Shady, and today I'm going to be showing you guys um, how to use your iPod Touch or iPhone um, as a mouse or a keyboard for your uh, Mac or PC. So, uh, like the rest of my videos about iPod Touches, um, not all of them, but most of them, there's really no need for uh, jailbreaking here. No jailbreak is required. So, um, what you're first going to want to do is... You're going to want to go to your app store, and once you're at your app store, you want to go ahead and type in this app called, um, called Touch Mouse. Um, once you've downloaded that, I'm not going to search it or anything, but once you've downloaded that, you're going to want to go ahead and go onto your computer, which I'm going to go ahead and, uh, stop the video and show you guys, um, and show you guys it real quick so I'll be right back guys see ya hey guys so I'm back so um after you've got the app onto your uh onto your iPod or iPhone you wanna go ahead and go to Google on your uh, desktop and you're gonna wanna go ahead and search uh you wanna go ahead and search uh touch mouse and then after that type in Logitech Logitech and then click the very first one up here. Now the video's gonna load, or not the video, the thing's gonna load. And you wanna uh, click right there where it says downloads and click choose OS. And I just happen to be on a Windows XP, so you're gonna wanna click that. And then uh, right here, 32 bit or 64 bit, and click that. And um, right there is pretty much what the app looks like. Uh, so you're gonna go ahead and click download software. I already have it downloaded. So after you have to, after you already have it downloaded, um, you wanna start it up. Here, one second. See if I have it right here. No, I don't. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go here. I'm gonna start it up. Mwah. And you wanna start it up. And uh, just wait. Loading, loading, loading. It's down here. You can go down here, and uh, it's gonna show this. It's gonna show this right here. And um, you're just gonna go ahead and uh, um, wait. I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to the actual camera, showing you guys what to do on your iPod. So uh, I'll be right back. All right, so after you have uh, it downloaded onto your computer and onto your iPod, you're just going to go ahead and open up the app on your iPod. Oh, yeah, I know I have a tons of apps. You want to go ahead and open it up, and uh, and you and right there, see that's uh, my computer right there. It's going to be searching for your uh, for your computer, and if, if it just doesn't happen to find it, you can go ahead and right there in the little box, type in the IP address of it, and it will connect to it. And, uh, as you can tell, it says connecting right there, and it's connected. I can use it as a mouse and everything, so I'm just going to go ahead and move over to the computer. And I, right now, I just happen to have this open. And I'm using my mouse right now for here. And you can click and everything. It does kind of lag out sometimes. This is my nice flat screen right here. And see, it does have a delay, kind of. I wouldn't say too long that you can click it everything so uh, pretty much that's it guys if you think that this video helped you then please comment rate and subscribe and um you can also I just forgot to show you this you can use a keyboard too right there so this is pretty handy you can even uh have it like this and you can use the keyboard and the mouse at the same time but if, if this helped you um I suggest that you comment rate and subscribe and uh Watch my other videos if you if you think it helped. So um please comment, rate, subscribe. I'll see you guys later in my next videos to come.